there, Oregon State. Let's talk about Jonathan Smith and the Beavers. Of course, one of our favorite mascots. You know we like Beavers. Um, <laughs> two and five last year, and and don't get me wrong, last year was actually a bit of an impressive season. Yeah, I was just about right? to say that's like the best two and five we've seen in a long yeah, time. It, they they were a lot of fun. That offense looks good. Uh, the issue this year is they are losing running back Jamar Jefferson. Uh, he was a stud, and and he's an NFL guy. Oregon yeah. State doesn't lose a bunch of NFL dudes, but. You know, Smith knows offense. Um, we, we don't know who's going to win this quarterback job. It is what it is. It, it was Tristan uh, Gabby last year before his hamstring injury, but then Chance Nolan comes in, filled in, played well. You know, who knows what they're going to end up doing. Uh, defense is the issue with Oregon State. There's plenty of experience this year, but not a lot of talent. Even with several P5 transfers coming in, I still do don't know what the ceiling for the defense is. I just I don't think it's very good. Uh, but I, I do tend to believe in Jonathan Smith. Like, I think he can win a couple of shootout games. Yeah. He proved it last year. I oh, mean, they, they beat Oregon last year. Well, I was just about to say, this is a guy that that it it wouldn't be – it wouldn't surprise me if Oregon's 11 and, and, and you know, 10 and 1 going into the, the old school Oregon Civil War yeah. and, and get got just because this is, this is a rivalry. This is a this – is a, coach that's not going to back down from anybody nope they don't have the talent to hang with most of these teams i don't think but i'm inflating their wins so if i look at it what i think of talent and coaching i'm basically just saying i'm going to add to that's because i think what i did i think they're gonna beat two teams they're not supposed to what was the win total again win with total the odds four and a half 115 juiced on both sides okay. over and all right yeah I'm, um, I'm going over the four and a half. Oh no, I'm going. Over, I, yeah, I, I feel like I have to. Yeah, they're uh, they're number twenty two in the country in returning production. By the way, eighty seven percent coming back. Yeah, so, which is a a theme this year. It average is usually like sixty something percent uh, as far as returning production. This year, the average is like seventy five percent. Like it's uh, it's absurd. But they they got eighty seven percent of their production back from last year. Um, I think they're gonna be great. Like I, I, I think they, I, I say great. That's a loose term here. I think they're going to be really good. I think improved. they're going to be fun. I, th- I think they can easily get to five wins. Like, I think this they is a could team that's to. not good at football all the time, but they're a lot of fun. Yes. I think Jonathan Smith will get this team and they to fight a point. hard, man. They really do. Yeah. I, mean, I think this, they're, I think this they're is not a bowl. dog-ass team. This is not Kansas. This is not Vandy. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're right. I think you're right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.